Hi guys, Piotr here, this is Light Finance Global YouTube channel and it's my pleasure to be with you again. Today we are going to discuss greed trading. Uh, well, it's going to be the uh, basic stuff with a little bit of the twist. It's not the easiest way to trade, but from day traders perspective, I think, I think, especially if you are going to be able to add your own twist, it might be profitable, right? At the very, very beginning, as usual, guys, please, 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 before you do real life trading, do your own research, do your own homework and try to adopt uh, the best things, uh, the, the things most suitable for you. Depends on what kind of the trader you are. Uh, the, gr the grid trading is uh, not that easy, but if you can spot uh, some kind of the range trading or if you um, truly believe that break to the upside or break to the downside can occur, then that might be very, very interesting. Uh, think uh, using the grid trading. If you are going to add some uh, tools from your arsenal, trading arsenal, then I think uh, it could be a really, really uh, interesting thing. Uh, so we are going to discuss um, the things, um, the basic stuff when it comes to the grid trading, and then I'm going to tell you uh, based on my approach, um, how you can try to trade um, that way. Again, you have to do your own research and homework. All right, so what is the FX grid trading? Well, the grid trading system is a trading method aimed to uh, making profit by placing buy and sell orders below or above the base price. Now, the placing the orders at specific intervals creates a trading grid, right? So in that case, uh, in trying to visualize that for you. So if, if, if that's the baseline, right? Then when we are talking about the specific sell order, uh, you may want to do that that way. So that's gonna be your sell order. And let's say that's gonna be your bar order and that's uh, this way we are creating the, the grid, right? That's, that's uh, the most important uh, thing. So, uh, the obvious possibility of making a profit from the sideways price, uh, price movement, and uh, the grid trading method does not require, to be honest with you, the predic prediction of the direction uh, of the market, right? Um, the grid trading is uh, suitable for the beginners and also easily automated, which uh, I'm going to explain because when it comes, maybe I'm going to do that uh, right now, when it comes to the um, automation, right, if you have some uh, coding skills, uh, you may try to create the um, grid trading automated system for yourself but also uh, you may want to go through some resources and try to find uh, one of them grid trading system for yourself automated trading system for yourself where you can input your own data how you want to make the trades there are two ways uh, to implement the, the grid trading method uh, trading with the trend, that's the number one. And number two, trading against the trend, right? Uh, when it comes to trading with the trend, is used when the price is expected to move in a certain direction. In this case, buy orders are located above the base price and sell orders below. So, in that case, uh, if that's the base, right, we are talking about the um, buying orders, uh, building the grid 
both, for example, right, looking for uh, the extremes, looking that the market is going to hit some kind of the extremes, let's say in that certain levels, right, where we are going to take the profit from the whole grid. Um, opposite to that, if we are going to see the break to the downside, trying to build the uh, grid, trying to hit the certain levels, um, usually uh, it's going to, in my case, depends on what I see to the left side of the chart. There are plenty of different schools um, and each of the school is trying to pretend to be the best one but to be honest with you again you have to adopt everything to yourself what kind of the trader uh, you are right so uh, I'm all, also in my case i'm using the naked charts that's very very important uh, very very important to uh, to me i'm not trading based on the uh, indicators right uh, so for myself if i'm going to try to build the grid it's going to depend on what i see uh, on the chart what kind of the price action we have when it comes to the chart where we are and what we are doing uh, from the price perspective that's very very important for myself you can also use, if you like, for example, a Fibonacci indicator, right? So you might use Fibonacci levels and other tools uh, to determine the support or resistance level when you want to start to build your read, right? Um, also, you may want to calculate, you may want to have the fixed value calculated levels uh, based on what you want to achieve, what you want to, uh, where you want to cut eventually your losses, right? So that's also very, very important uh, thing when it comes to the grid trading. So overall, the base price, as you know, is very, very uh, important. But as I mentioned at the very beginning, I'm going to add a little bit of the twist into that. So in my case, um, what I usually do is that I'm watching what is going on from the higher time frame perspective within the certain ranges, right? And yes, I do grid trading, right, with the stop losses. I do calculate based on the possible price target, I do calculate my stop loss, right? So what I'm talking about is the price action, right? So that's the four hour euro dollar chart. In that case, let's talk about the first let's talk about the first grid here all right so in that particular case i know not at the very beginning because we have to monitor what is going on right so i have my bottom i have my top then the market went lower again so in that case i can create some kind of the range so my first approach is to make the measure of that particular range. In that case, we are talking about the 40 pips. So if I'm going to make the sell at the top, I do expect to make at least 40 pips. In that case, if I'm going to make three to one reward to risk ratio, so if we are talking about the 40 pips possible target, then I know that 12, 13 pips is my stop loss, right? So in that case, I'm going to build the grid based on the selling the top, 13 pips above my stop, targeting the bottom. At the same time, I'm going to use the buy order 
to buy at the very bottom of that grid, placing the stop 12, 13 pips below and targeting the top of that grid, right? That's the first thing first. The second thing uh, here is that after the breakout, so if my latest trade is going to be stopped out, right, then I'm going to use these ranges to make the measure and I'm going to develop my next grid, all right? So in that case, if I have the break to the upside, all right, then my measure is to make three, two, or one up to the upside in case of the upside break or one, two, three to the downside of that range, right? In that case, we've seen the strong upside move uh, and in that case, I'm looking for a pullback. What kind of the pullback I'm looking for? How my grid is going to look like? So I'm taking the top of that grid, all right? I'm taking the 50% of that grid and my stop is almost at the bottom of that grid, all right? And I know that my target is top of that grid, all right? As the first one, okay? And that's where I'm going to look for selling opportunity. So in that case, that was my first pullback, all right? So that was my buy order here. That was my taking profit and sell order over here, all right? So again, it was move, the market moved down. So profit taking, buy order here, and profit taking over here, all right? But again, it was my next sell level here. So in that case, I would be stopped out. So what, what I'm trying to tell you guys is a very easy strategy. Based on the ranges you can create, all right, I'm trading by selling the tops of the range, buying the bottom of the range, placing my stops at one third of what I'm trying to achieve, that's number one. If I have upside or downside break, I'm looking for a pullback to the top of that range. I'm building my grid by adding into the 50% of that range, targeting the top of that range where I have selling orders looking for the move down. What I strongly encourage you guys, go visit the blog, read the grid trading article, watch this video with the twist when it comes to the grid trading again, adopt everything you can to what kind of the trader you are, do plenty of possible examples before you are going to start trading. Check yourself if the grid trading is for you. It was my pleasure to make such an update for you guys. Wish you great grid trading experience and see you around. Goodbye.